Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody just made a clock and they posted it and they thanked me for helping them. And it's been a long time since I've done a clock and I've, I've changed some things and made them better. So I just drew a line that's 12 points. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to hit T and put my hour hand or uh, in the center of the page. I'm going to control. Well, I don't have to make a duplicate because we're going to use the transformation doctor. I brought in some indexing lines so I know it's in the center. Then I'm going to open up a range transformation rotation. And we're going to need 11 of these because we've already got a copy at 30 degrees. That gave you your hour hands. So now we're going to control D and make a duplicate of that hour hand. And I'm going to make the duplicate quite a bit shorter. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to move the rotation to the center. Now we need just six degrees and we need 59 of them for the 60 minutes because we've already got one. Now it did put some little hands on top of the other ones, but it doesn't really matter. If you're a laser engraver, it's not going to engrave that twice. Um, you could if you really wanted to, and I'll just go over this real quick. Let's set our nudge distance on. This clock is quite big. Let's set it on just two inches. You could if you wanted to. Let's get rid of our indexing lines. We don't want to get rid of the circle. So if you wanted to, just for grins, you could move that out of the way and delete that and then move that back on each hour hand. Let's change our nudge distance four because I had to hit two clicks. So this is very easy. Just nudge out of the way, delete that one, nudge it back all the way around. But I am almost 100% guaranteed that it will not engraved because there's two on top of there. One of them is going to be on top. One of them is going to be at the bottom. It doesn't really matter. That would be the, there's a way you could figure it out. You could make the four hands and then duplicate them around. But that would be the fastest if you saw how close or how quick I drew that. And you could do a number of things with the different lines. You could make the lines thinner, you know, on the second hands before you do that and so on and so on. And then you could put your numbers. And I, when I make clocks, I only go uh, 12, 6, 9, and 3. I leave the other ones because uh, everybody should know how to read a clock. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.